Hey there, I'm professional psychic Karen Marie, and this is a reading for Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising signs for the week of April 9th through the 16th, 2023. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you check out my Psyched Up Sundays video. That's where I dive into the astrological transits for the week ahead, and we do have a big one on tap. I've got the link below this video. I'll also put it as a prompt on the end screen of this video. Also on the end screen, I'll put another prompt to my daily Psyched Update video. It's a one minute video that I post here on this channel, also on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So if you're on those platforms more, make sure you check out the my daily one minutes. I talk about the important transits for that day and I draw one tarot card. So I've got three cards for you here, Scorpio. I've got the recent past card, which is the maturity card. This is the self-care card. So this tells me you've been working hard, maybe removing yourself from other people, just doing some downtime, trying to fortify yourself. Maybe that's extra meditation, chanting, prayer, quiet time, extra breath work, extra napping, buying yourself flowers, soaking in the tub with essential oils, doing things that you love that's just for you, saying no, setting boundaries, all those things could be happening in your recent past. It's the maturity card, and it looks like you've been doing a good job of taking care of yourself, even though you might feel a bit guilty and <laughs> telling other people no. It feels like you deserve to take care of you. The card that's representing you right now is the totality card. This shows this trapeze act going on. This is an act of faith where you can trust your own intuition, trust that the universe is going to catch you. If you feel guided to take a leap of faith, the universe will catch you and be there for you. So that is representing your life right now. You may be in the middle of a leap of faith right now. You've got people around you supporting you, encouraging you is what it feels like. The card for the week ahead is the playfulness card. This is a call to have some fun, to laugh, to be around people who lift up your spirits. It's been pretty heavy lately here on this planet. So there's a need for lightness and brevity to do things just because they feel good, because it's just for fun. Let your inner child out and play, maybe uh, dancing barefoot in the rain, picking out some colors, <laughs> coloring, you know, finger painting. It doesn't matter. It feels like messy, playful, just for fun, for good humor, for the joy of it. And so the week ahead looks like it's filled with some laughter, some fun, and some playfulness. Have a great week, Scorpio. Peace.